Hi, welcome to Retune, the missing platform to build your AI apps. Here you'll be able to build your own AI chatbot like ChatGPT. And the best part is you won't have to write any code to do that. This is just simple and intuitive UI that gets rid of all the complexity to build AI chatbot. You can later integrate your chatbot into platforms like websites or WhatsApp or Messenger. Let's take a quick look at Retune. If we sign in, we will be in the chatbots page. All the chatbot that you created will be here. Let's create a new one to help you learn programming. We name it Programming Chatbot. Our chatbot is created. Now before continuing, let's go to the settings page. If you didn't provide your OpenAI API key or Cloud API key, you will need to put your API key here. Because right now we use models from OpenAI and Cloud to get response from a chatbot. You can also generate your return API key by clicking this button. Now if we go back to our programming chatbot, here you will write your prompt. And you can generate a prompt from a very short description like this if we click generate prompt will be generated cool we have the prompt now go to the conversation and create a new thread you can create as many thread as you want to learn react did a typo but it uh, got what i wanted you can rename the thread let's create another thread this one is for python language okay so you get the idea in the settings you will be able to select the models for your chatbot and your input or output token limit we provide different API where you can create a new chat, chat thread. You can get all the threads and all the messages in the thread. Now, if you want to publish your chatbot, you can do that uh, with a widget. You'll need to copy this code snippet and then you'll embed uh, this chatbot into your own website. That's from chatbot section. Now, if you go to the embedding section, you can create embeddings, which is basically vector representations of your text data. And later you can connect those embeddings with your chatbot so that bot has all the context from your data and it can be anything like any book, document or paper. I'm creating a new embedding. I will embed some fictional books. Here you need to upload the text file that you want to embed you can upload text or pdf file i am uploading a famous classic book the old man and the sea you can see the embedding is finished now if i click it you can see the book and you can search from that book here this is the search result some paragraph from the book if i go back to chat section and here in prompt you can connect the embedding that we just created if i click save it's connected from the conversation i can ask it to give me a summary of that book you can ask any questions about that book we have response from that chatbot at first, if we go to the usage page, we can see all the OpenAI requests made from our account, including the status. And if we go back, let's check out the playground page. All the datasets that you created will be here. You can create a new dataset. Let's say I have a dataset for all the song that I wrote. And your prompt will go here write a song on topic if we give it a topic it will generate a song for us you can put your manually written output here or you can let ai 
generate output for you. In our case, we are generating a song on dog. If you don't like any particular portion, you can regenerate it. If you want to insert a new data, you can click this button and insert a new data. If we go back in the models page, you can create a new model. That means a fine tuning model based on those data sets that you already created. Let's name it a song model. Here is the list of data set that you have and the base model. This will be the base model and you will fine tune this model using those data sets. Now, if we click the create model, our new model will be created. You see all the updates here if your fine tuning is finished or not and if we check another already fine tuned model here you can test your fine tuned model at last we'll go to the bounty section if you have an app idea integration or customization request that goes beyond our core return functionalities you can post a bounty here and you can get messed with one of our vetted ai developer that's all for now from return